In this topic, you will learn how to create a new year within General Ledger and understand the steps before and after we run the Create New Year function. You will understand the steps that need to be done before running the Create New Year. Backing up your data and posting all the adjusting entries within the year. We then run the Create New Year function and then after we will print and clear all reports such as the GL Batch Status Report and the GL Posting Journal. A company must go through a year-end process at the end of their 12 or 13 month cycle. An accounting year is almost 12 months period. A Create New Year function is run at the end of your accounting cycle. First, before we run this, you must log into Sage 300. Select General Ledger. Now that we have selected General Ledger, there is a few steps that need to be taken. The first and most important step is to back up your data. Once your data is backed up, the second most important step to do is to make sure that you have posted all your entries, all your accounting entries for the month end, as well as your subsidiary ledger entries as well. So to make sure everything is posted into General Ledger, you would go into GL Transactions, Batch List. Once you uncheck the Show Posted and Deleted Batches, if you see a list within here, these are entries that need to be posted. So what you want to do is make sure you post them. Once they have posted, the third thing you want to do is make sure you go into GL Setup, select Options, Posting, and have the correct physical year. So you see my current physical year is 2020, and my oldest physical year is 2018. So once I run a Create New Year, my current physical year should be 2021. The next step is to go into Common Services and go into the Physical Calendar and ensure that you have 2021 in this period, which is your future year, active and saved. So once that is done, go to Periodic Processing and the Create New Year function is now ready to be run. Again, I want to stress out that you want to make sure that all your subsidiary ledgers are posted so every entries in your accounts payable, whether it be invoice in check or adjustments, in receivable, inventory control day end is run, all your order entry sales are posted for the year, and jobs, annual purchases are all posted from the subsidiary ledger and then all posted into your general ledger. Now that you have ensured that, now we're ready to create the new year. Select Create New Year, and again you will get a warning to back up your data before proceeding. And the process, it will give you in detail what the process will do. When you run the Create New Year, it will transfer all balances from your income and your expense account to your retained earnings, and the opening balances for your new year. Now closing all your income statement accounts. And as you can see from this message, it says posting sequence 84 completed. We have now created the new year 2021 has been created. No history was removed. And the process was complete. Now I select close and close. Go into setup, options, posting. As you can see, 2021. Select close. Now what you want to do is print and clear the batch status report and the posting journals generated when you created your new year. Select GL reports. Batch status.
As you see my batch number 225 is my closing entries for year 2020. I had a number of 103 entries and my debits and credits for that period is what I need to do is to print this report. To print the batch status report you click batch status and the batch number you want to select the very last batch that we used in order to create the uh, year end which is 225. and print the batch status. This is the batch status report for the year closing 2020. Once you've printed this report, you can then print the posting journals. And this is the posting journal for year-end close 2020. This will conclude how to create a new year and you should have a good understanding of what steps need to be taken before creating the new year function and what the new year function does during the process and which reports to print after the create new year function has been completed.